Reduction of order is the next topic I'm going to be going through. Our equation for this uh, will be y2 is equal to y1 times the integral of e to the negative integral of p of t dt all over y1 squared. And just to uh, identify where all of these things are coming from, uh, in these questions, we will always have, uh, will always be given one function uh, of our fundamental set of solutions, and we're told to find the other one. So this guy right here is our y1, and then p of t is whatever is connected to y prime as long as the coefficient on y double prime is 1. So in this case, we'll need to divide by uh, t squared on all of, all of our terms to get that, to get that uh, p of t correct. So in our case, p of t is negative 1 over t. So let's go replace things, and we're looking for yeah this function y2. So y1 is t t squared, I forgot our dt out here, we get uh, negative 1 over t dt in here, so all of this will simplify to e to the ln t. e to the ln t is just t, so this integral becomes 1 over t, and we get t ln t. Question 9. Uh, we're doing the same thing here, except instead of solving for y2, we're solving for the function that we multiply by e to the x to get y2, where e to the x is our first solution. So v of x is just the equation that we used before uh, without the y1 multiplied by everything. We have e to the negative integral of p of x dx, where p of x is the term on y prime when uh, the coefficient on y double prime is 1, so we have to divide by x. So p of x is 2 over x minus 2. Uh, the negative integral of that will be negative 2 ln x minus 2x. We can distribute that negative like that and split this up into an e to the 2x. And then in our denominator, we will have uh, y1 of x squared, that's e to the 2x dx. And so dividing out our e to the 2x's and simplifying this here, uh, we can bring this x down in place of this e. We get x to the negative 2. The integral of this will be negative, uh, negative x to the negative first power. And so uh, since... In the end, this is multiplied by some constant that will have uh, y equals y equals c1 y1 plus c2 y2. Uh, we can we can get rid of this negative sign. It doesn't matter what constant is multiplied out here. So v of x is equal to x to the negative first power. We have y1 of t, and we are looking for yet again v of t the thing that we multiply by y1 of t uh, to get y2 of t. So we can say that v of t is equal to the integral uh, of the integral of e to the negative integral of p of t, where p of t is going to be 3t over t squared, because we have to get rid of this term over here. That's 3 over t dt, and everything will be uh, divided by y1 squared, so t to the t to the negative 2. And we can take this uh, t to the negative 2 and move it up top, t to the negative 2, and evaluate this integral. This will be uh, 3 ln t, well sorry, negative 3 ln t. We can replace this e with this t right here and rewrite things a little bit better. And sorry, I brought up a uh, t to the negative 2 from the denominator, so that should be t squared up here. We can put this t cubed down here, subtract everything 
out from our exponents and we're left with ln t like that. Uh, let's see, we, had, we got two more to go through. We're looking for our second solution. Uh, actually, just what is multiplied by y1 to give us our second solution. So yet again, v of x will just be the integral of e to the negative integral of x over x cubed. So, so 1 over x squared dx all divided by x squared. Taking this little integral out, uh, the integral of 1 over x squared dx, this is x to the negative second power, so that integral uh, will give us, that integral will give us x to the negative first power. Yes, that looks good. Okay, I'm, I'm, as you can see, I'm a little rusty on the, the, the easy integration. So we can, we can go put that up here, uh, x to the negative first power, uh, like, like that. And now we're going to do a little u substitution, it looks like, because we can say that u equals x to the negative 1, and du is negative x to the negative 2 uh, dx. And so uh, dividing, dividing that out, dividing out our, our uh, term right here and replacing x to the negative 1 with u, we see that v of u is equal to the integral of e to the u du, or just or just e to the x to the negative first power or e to the 1 over x and you know you, you might be you might be wondering where this negative went well same story as up here we end up multiplying it by some constant uh, so we can we can disregard uh, the sign in here because all they're looking for is another solution, one of the, the, the many possible. These just happen to be all of the ones uh, with a constant of one outside of them. And six, we have same thing. This does get very repetitive. We divide by t cubed to get rid of that. There's our p of t. p of t is negative one over t squared. And we are computing we are computing actually the, the second solution. So y2 is equal to the first solution. Uh, y1 is t over y1 squared dt e to the negative integral of negative 1 over t squared, which will just be 1 over t squared dt. This integral is it's negative 1 over t. Uh, like so, and we can do, <laughs> wait, is this exactly, almost exactly the same thing? No, this is exactly the same thing. Yeah, it's exactly the same thing. Okay, u is equal to, u is equal to negative 1 over t, du is equal to 1 over t squared. Well, actually, the, the sign is slightly, sign is slightly different, um, but we'll get, we'll get the same result we'll get e, but uh, doing this u substitution, y2 is equal to t times e to the u, all divided by uh, nothing, because we'll, we'll divide that guy out, du, so we get y2 is equal to t times uh, e to the u, e to the negative 1 over not u, negative one over t, and uh, there's our, there is our answer, right there. Okay, this was a great review for me. I'd completely forgotten this formula before I uh, picked up this PDF or, or put it together, and uh, hope it was helpful for you as well.